Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Sacred Feather Soul Journaling. I'm Leslie Ackman, and gosh, a week has gone by already, and it's time for another cut and paste video. Cut and paste journaling is what really healed my soul. It is a form of art journaling that just speaks to me. It is fun. Um, I can just let my mind go, and there's not a whole lot of thought I have to put into a certain technique. I don't have to learn anything new. I can just, like, go and have fun. Today, what we're going to do, <clears throat> we're going to make something called a snippet roll. Now, you've probably already seen these. They're all over on Instagram and Facebook, and they've been around for a few years, and they're just so much fun to make. What you're going to need is you're going to need the... Um, the paper that is in a roll, and I can't think of what it's for again. Oh yeah, it's for like cash registers or adding machines or something like that. So it comes on supplies. So what I like to use, number one, is just something very simple with all cut and paste journaling, right? A glue stick, scissors. I like to use the smaller ones simply because I'm working with very small pieces doing these snippet rolls. I like to use paper. Usually I use my own collage fodder that I have created. Um, I had a lot of fun a few days ago with my granddaughter and we made a ton of stuff on the jelly plate. Um, and so I also usually take at least one, there's a little collage bit ready to be put on a snippet roll. I usually take one to two pattern papers, like, you know, pieces of scrapbook paper. And I like to add those just to me, it's a visual thing. I think it looks really cool with all of the collage fodder. And also I usually use some black and white element because it just breaks up all the color. So I do like to do that as well. So I have that. I usually just tear this paper. And so that's just kind of fun. And then my favorite part of the snippet roll is all of the little elements. And I keep them in this cute little glass tray that my daughter um, gifted me lots of years ago at Christmas time. So what do I use for my collage bits? So many things. I like to use fun stickers, my own collage elements, um, words, obviously, quotes, um, little, little bits of things that I like to pre-cut. Just that way it's just so much funner to put them um, on your snippet roll. So I have all of these little words are amazing. You can either stamp them or you can use the pre-made stickers, which are so fun. And that's all you're going to need. Oh, sometimes I like to use tape too, because these stickers have a tendency to not um, hold down quite like I like them to, to be stuck down. So I like to use tape to do that. So, all right.
so I'm getting ready to put some, probably some gold is kind of calling me on this one, leafing on this snippet roll. But I also wanted to show you something else that you could use and I have used before and I, I love it. Um, this is called Glitterific. This is almost like a paint glue type of a thing. If you've never seen this, it's by Folk Art. And there is just tons of beautiful glitter. Um, in this like glue but it will dry clear and all you'll have left is the sparkles that is also beautiful painted on these these are pretty pricey um, i found these at walmart and i want to say they were like five to seven dollars just for a small bottle so i use them sparingly but they are really fun um, to use but today i just have all of this beautiful leafing i use it almost in every project and i have gold silver and copper I've used silver and copper on this set so far, so I think I might do the gold. So I'll just do a little bit of this and then I'll show you my finished snippet roll at the end. The snippet roll and then I was also going to show you the other ones that I have created over the last couple of days so this is the one that I just created in the video as you can see I like to just put a lot of eclectic type things on there so fun um, these little girls right here that you're seeing with the crowns and the wings and things like that those are from an Etsy shop so is this bird I need to put that in the show notes because, wow, she has some, a lot of really great things for a, a really good price. I just found her. Okay, let me show you this one. So then the, the best thing to do with this snippet roll then is you just literally, you can cut pieces off of this, rip pieces off of this, um, however you want to use it. And it looks so awesome in your journals and it can look awesome in little mini books. Um, you can cut pieces out. This is such a great way to relax. And when you want to be creative and you have maybe lots of little bits that have accumulated in your bins and baskets and on your desk like I have, this is always just a really great way to use those things up. This is another one of those digital pieces that I printed off. Definitely recommend her. Her stuff is beautiful. So I hope that you've been inspired to make your own snippet roll, or you can do the same kind of a thing um, just on a piece of paper, in your journal, whatever. You can do these kind of collages just whenever you need a creative boost. Um, and I love to look at them. I love to use them. And I'm just so grateful that you've been here. Remember, I have a cut and paste journaling session every single week right here on my channel. Be sure and subscribe if you haven't. And you can also push that little bell to be notified every time I upload a video. I'm so grateful for all of you. And thank you for watching. I hope you have a fantastic week.